Yeah, thank you very much for this kind introduction. Um, yeah, as, I, as, as you already said, my presentation today is about testing equipment and services for the composite pressure vessels. Um, Max Meda also does some other fields in, the, in this application, but um, yeah, today we were talking about only about the composite pressure vessel testing. Um, first of all, some slides for our company. Um, we have uh, our headquarter in Nordhausen. This is in Germany. Um, internationally, we uh, have some more subsidiaries over there uh, where we serve our international customers. Um, as, as you can see in our turnovers, uh, we have some, some turnover, of course, in Germany. And, and this was in the past linked to, to diesel and, and to oil and gas uh, businesses. And yeah, it's transforming more and more to, to the alternative fuels, like we call that. So we are talking with customers of the, of the natural gas and hydrogen industry. And uh, yeah, our company has uh, uh, yeah, a big history. We started already in 1885 with our parent company. And um, over the years, we developed and developed more to the automotive and uh, of course also to the hydrogen field. And um, yeah, a big step was also in 2018, we, we established a new company with a close partner to us. This is uh, the Testnet company, and together we created a joint venture. Uh, some more details I will uh, bring on uh, tomorrow at the presentation at 10 o'clock. So if you have time, join, join us tomorrow as well. Um, and within this joint venture, uh, it was the, the gas testing of, of composite pressure vessels. But I will come to this later on. Uh, just a, a local f or a footprint of our company. So as you can see, uh, as our customer need us, we, will, uh, we, we are there and we have um, a subsidiary and partner over there in the right time zone and in the right, uh, with the right uh, yeah, language available. Um, we also have, uh, we joined an initiative uh, about, which is in German called Windretter. It is about to save some uh, yeah, wind energy um, over the electrolyzers and, and to store it. And we would like to participate in this with our compression technology, of course. But from our point of view, this is a goal for um, yeah, the, the hydrogen mobility to use renewables and, and to use, uh, um, yeah, the hydrogen should come from renewables to, to make sense in, 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 in the global, global way. Um, coming to our test equipments, it is, uh, we have an upgrowth of, of the requirements from our customers. So our customer, they, they start often uh, with the product development and when they finish this, this kind of product development, they are coming to the certification process and later on as they have a certified product, in the best case, they, they start a production or mass production and uh, Maximeto is able to support the, the entire way of, of an upgrowth of, of the requirements of our customers. And uh, maybe we start with the product development and certification. Uh, this is linked to, to regulations. So our customers are dri driven or forced by, by some regulations uh, to do some testing, um, to, to, to prove some, some properties of, of, of their products. And um, according to the, to the regulations, uh, MaxMeta uh, is able to fulfill some, some testing. So as a service uh, in Nordhausen, or what we do as well is uh, we deliver test stands that the customer could perform these tests in-house, so at, at, at his own uh, facility. Uh, for example, uh, we, we have to do the, or the customer has to do some hydraulic burst tests. What you can see here, we, we do that uh, as a service in Nordhausen. Um, we have some technical facts on the right and on, on the left you see some pictures of a already bursted vessel. Um, so these vessels do not break in just one part, like you maybe know that from a steel tube or whatever. Uh, due to the composite um, yeah, characteristics, it, it ruptures with a lot of energy because there's a lot of elastic deformation. Even if it's, it's a test with water, um, there's a lot of energy, energy stored. Um, of course, we also are providing some, some uh, test stands for, for this kind of application. Uh, I have to hurry up a little bit, I see. Uh, testing services also for the hydraulic cycling test. We do that also with pretreatment, uh, so with chemicals attachment or with a drop test or whatever. These tests are all come from, from a regulation. Uh, as you can see here, we, we do some different tests uh, about the accelerated stress rupture, for example, 
Um, and of course, we, we offer, together with our partner Testnet, we offer the hydrogen gas cycle test. Um, this is a very specific test. It is not offered very often in the world, and uh, we are proud to, to be the next possibility to do these tests. And tomorrow at 10, you will uh, see more details around that chamber because this chamber is able to resist a rupture under gas pressure. This is uh, very unique. Um, we also do the testing services for bonfire testing and, and gunfire in a special area. And now I would like to show you a little bit about the mass production. I have to speed up a little bit. Um, what you see here is a test stand for um, the production of, or for the mass production of hydrogen uh, vessels. In this case, the vessels came in and will be attached with some tubes and vessels and, uh, and, and, and uh, um, valves and so on will, will be assembled. And the final assembly will be checked for, for any yeah, misassembly or whatever. So this is a test stand which checks the performance of, of the tanks or the leak performance of the test right before it gets assembled to the car. Uh, what we have here is a CNG project we, we provided to a customer. So this is um, for a CNG uh, vessel and every vessel needs to be proof tested in, a, uh, in the end of line. So every vessel which is produced needs to be proof and leak tested. In this case this is a water uh, proof pressure test. We also delivered the pressure cycle and burst test for the same project. So this is about type 4 vessels uh, for compressed natural gas. And of course we have some concepts um, due to the reason that there are not that many mass productions uh, today. Uh, we have different concepts um, about how to deal with these kind of, of uh, yeah, requirements of the customer in the future. So when there will be mass production of cars, of, of maybe also European cars, uh, we have to be prepared that we have to test a lot more vessels uh, as we do that today. And what we see here, we have some concepts uh, where we maybe integrate some robots to, to be quicker, to reduce the cycle time, because it's always a mess to bring water and uh, in and out, and as well as to bring gas out and in. And uh, we try to, to, to be prepared for this kind of test. And uh, therefore, we have different concepts where we could, um, it is always customer specific, so we have to talk with the customers about their specific requirements, and then we have to follow them because every concept that you've seen here is always customer specific. So this is a leak test stand where it also could be very modular, and uh, we also have here leak tests, also with a robot included, and uh, that is it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Patrick Schulte. You are actually like perfectly on time, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> are there any questions from the audience right now? Yes. Thank you very much for your nice presentation. Yeah. I want to know what is the main technical difference between normal uh, CNG pressure tank testing system and this for uh, testing of hydrogen tanks? Okay, what is the difference between testing of yes, CNG yes. and hydrogen vessels? Yes, yes. Okay, basically it is the pressure, um, because the pressure in a CNG car is roughly 200 bar, so the working pressure, and when you go for the hydrogen, you have either 350 bar, for example for trucks or commercial vehicles or something, or buses. Uh, in the car, the, the standard seems to be 700 bar, so compared to the uh, CNG, it is yeah, m maybe three times uh, higher pressure, and what it when you extra or when you increase the the nominal working pressure, you also have, but at the same time increase the testing pressure, because testing is always about 1.5 uh, times the nominal working pressure, and if the nominal working pressure raises up, you also have to increase the the, the testing pressure. Yeah. Thank you very much. Are there any further questions from the audience? Okay, then let me have one. What are, you talked about the vessels uh, focus today. What else do you offer at Maximato? Yeah, good question. Um, we also offer some, some uh, yeah. One topic is for us, the cars, they need to be on the road. So this is a topic most probably, or it is about the vessels. Uh, so we, we try to help the, the, the customers or our customers to bring cars on the street. But on the other hand, to, to solve this kind of chicken egg problem, we also are dealing with refueling stations. Uh, you could see in our booths um, 
our new compressor, which we will use for refueling stations. So we try to accelerate the market from both sides. So help to get cars on the roads and to help them yeah, being recharged. Okay. Thank you very much. Further questions from the audience? Okay, if not, or if further questions come up later, please go to the booth B46 yeah. to discuss the topic. Thank you again, Patrick Schulte.